welcome to the Savvy Chick Show. It's Chantel Seville here, and I'm your host today and always on the Savvy Chick Show. Now, it's just myself today because I really love to take a recap, tell you what's coming up, and get you excited about the future of Savvy Chicks, which means your future. So in the past, we've done a lot of different episodes, and we'll take you for a walk down memory lane. But first, and more excitingly and importantly, I'd like to tell you what's happening now. You would notice our wonderful new set, the Savvy Chicks uh, awesome logo there as well. So we're really, really stepping it up a notch, and I think that's always important to do is, you know, really keep on your front foot. So we've got this gorgeous Savvy Chicks logo designed by Frankie and Boyd, a fantastic design company uh, based in Australia and Canada. We need one here in Hawaii. And with the Savvy Chicks show, it's really important that you know what it's all about, and it's inspire, dream, believe. And what that means is inspire. We're here to really inspire you to just do whatever it is that you want to do. Uh, when we say dream, it's not just sitting there dreaming. It's about, you know, dreaming big and looking at what others are doing and seeing that it's, um, you know, what, what's out there. And that's what we love to bring to you with the show, all these different careers and ways of getting there and, you know, the neatest things that you might not be able to see in your local town. And then the believe part is believing it's possible and believing it's possible for you, which is so important because, you know, it's one thing to say, oh, yeah, that's possible for her, but what about for you? Because if it's possible for them, it's possible for you. And that's what's the most important part is to believe that it's possible for you and just focus on whatever it is you want and be so resilient to... Um, to keep going for whatever you want and following that through. So what's really exciting is the next six episodes after this one of the Savvy Chick Show are going to be completely dedicated to careers. For you to aspire to achieve a career or, I mean, you might be 10 years old watching this. When I was young, I always wanted to have a show. I wanted to be on a show. So this and these different careers will show you what's possible for you and as well as what kind of qualities it takes for you to get there. So I'll be sure to ask all the guests you know, their history and what they did when they were young and what it takes to do what they do in their career and how important it is to, um, to work on certain qualities and skills and how they can really be experts in what they do, which means that once you learn to do that, you can start um, heading towards your dream career yourself. So it's all about dreaming big. Now, some of the careers we have coming up, so I'll let you know, I am very, very, very excited. I, I'm only going to tell you who one of these guests is because I'm just that excited. It's actually uh, an old friend of mine and a very good friend, Jason Gretsch, who's an international fashion designer. Now, he has designed some of the dresses for the most incredible celebrities, and oh, you'll see next week. You have to watch next week's episode, 11 a.m. Honolulu time. Uh, he's also just recently done a collaboration with IBM. So basically, when fashion meets technology, I mean, who would have even thought those two fit together? So we'll have uh, that and just these most gorgeous, whether it be a, a wedding gown or a a dress for an Australian celebrity, Delta Goodrum. We're going to flash them up on the screen and get you inspired to really follow those um, those of you who are inspired to be stylists and designers and whatnot. So I guess that, that leads me to the next one. We'll have a professional stylist and personal branding expert, a young artist. We'll have a professional athlete because, I mean, a lot of you girls might want to be or have young women be athletes, so that's very exciting. Uh, someone from the entertainment industry. Now, I'm not going to tell you who it is, but it could be an actor, an actress, maybe someone in the industry, maybe a filmmaker. So you will, uh, you'll have to stay tuned to see who that's going to be. And as well as someone from advertising and design. And this I find really interesting because when I was in high school, I wanted to do marketing. And I didn't know it was marketing then, so I went to the guidance counselors in Saskatchewan, Canada, and they said, oh, no, you can't do that. You're not good at maths. Well, really, you need to only know a small amount of maths to do marketing, which is advertising. A lot of the rest is creative. And it turns out that I could do it. And I ended up studying in Australia. I did a Bachelor of Business and Marketing, and I was just fine at the maths. And in fact, I was actually quite good at accounting, which is one of the maths that you do. So the reason I want to introduce you to this industry is because the advertising industry has so many positions that you might not know about. I mean, there's, um, there's different people, creatives, there's actual physical designers, there's those who come up with concepts, there's those who meet with the clients, who uh, actually help relay what the client wants. So for example, when I worked at Audi, I had um, someone that would come to me at, at the office, at the dealership, and I was in the marketing department, and I would explain to them, look, I'd like to do a neat campaign, and um, you know, this is what I kind of think I would look like, and then that person would basically say, oh, do you mean this? Now, what they do, and they're called your account manager, so this is a really cool uh, career, and it's actually quite well paid. They would go back to their creatives at, at their office and say, look, um, Chantel from Audi Center Melbourne wants to do this really neat uh, campaign and this is what she wants the cars to look like and, 
and whatnot, and then they'd come up with a creative concept, and then that account manager would come back and present it to me. So I just want to share these just different ideas, because I've been very fortunate to be exposed to a lot of careers and a lot of people in all different types of industries. And it's not all about making the money. Making money is fantastic, but it's really about pursuing your natural talents and doing what you love and continuously following that. So um, throughout with this with myself, as well as with my experts and entrepreneurs and artists and it's a lot of it is about people in creative fields because though I'm a business person, I am very creative and I think there's so much space in this world for creatives to be really successful if they have the right guidance and can you know really uh, be able to articulate their their art, whether it be as an entrepreneur or as a singer or dancer or artist or designer, I mean you name it athlete. Um, even though you might not consider those creative, they do still fit under my creative banner because you really need to play on your own strengths for that one. Um, so those are just a few of the careers that we have coming up to showcase. And it's just, it's so important for you to really decide what it is that you want to do. And even if you don't know, it doesn't matter as long as you're pursuing things from day to day that you enjoy. And if it switches tomorrow, that's so fine because you never know what you do, how it can lead to the next thing that you're doing. And I just want to share a little story while, while we're here and I'm just, just you and me today uh, about me wanting to create the Savvy Chick Show and Savvy Chicks TV essentially, which are almost two of the same, is that I really wanted to do this show and I had this, this dream because I really wanted to interview people with cool careers. And when I was living in Sydney, Australia, I was asking anyone and everyone I knew, because that's how, how I communicate, can you please help? You know, is there anyone that can sponsor this? And they said, oh, you don't have enough viewers, you don't have enough this, that. Um, and I just, I couldn't work out how I was going to do it, but I knew I would. So I ended up asking a friend of mine who had a penthouse in Bondi, I was quite lucky, if I could borrow his rooftop to, and his house to, uh, to set up a shoot. Well, I didn't have a cameraman, and the cameraman cost money. And, well, I thought that I was going to do it anyway, but I could get guests because, you know, one of my strengths, and this is why I'll always encourage you to find your strengths, is uh, communication and also connecting people because I'm a real connector and I absolutely love helping match people. So if, if someone needs a house and someone needs a housemate, I will... I'll match them up. Or if someone needs uh, a designer and someone uh, is a designer, I'll match them up. So in this case, people always wanted to be on my show and they still do because this is my strength and it exposes them to more people. So I couldn't find a cameraman <laughs> who, who, would, uh, who would do this for next to nothing because I didn't really have a budget being that it's just this visionary project. And eventually, the day of the shoot, so I'd, I'd lined up all my guests, because remember, I'm good at connecting and I love people. So I had all my guests lined up. The night before I was planning to shoot, I didn't have a cameraman or voice, audio, anything. And I just knew, you know, I just worked on it so long and I knew it was so right and it was bound to happen that at 10 o'clock the night before, um, this amazing guy called Jay, who I will tag in this, it's funny enough because Jay, there's a Jay here at Think Tech, so these Jays seem to believe in him back what I'm doing. He uh, he came uh, came through. He called and said, "Look, you know, I know I know that you don't really have much of a budget, but look, I, I believe in what you're doing. Let me help you out. You know, you can pay me such and such for now, and as it as it grows, we can go from there. So we'll just do a little pilot for you." Whew. <laughs> so the next day, I did those uh, did the whole shoot, and it was amazing. And you can actually see all those videos on the Savvy Chicks TV YouTube, so as well as the SavvyChicks.com website. You can see a few of them, and if you go back to the YouTube, uh, the reason I share that story with you is that, you know, so many times in life, you know, you're the only person that might see something, and it's it takes a real strong character to believe in something more than anyone else can, and. Um, and even the people that were doubting around me and people that might doubt around you, never let that doubt affect what it is that you want to achieve because deep down we all know, like I knew it was going to come through and, um, and if it didn't, you know what, it didn't matter but I just, you just have to go for things and not let the outer voices dictate what you're going to be doing and who you're going to be. So it's always stay as internally focused as you can focus on your mission, go for what you really want. Because even in doing this um, in the show, all the guests that I really, 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 really wanted have been on the show. Those that I was kind of thinking, sometimes they fall off, they can't come through, they're no, they don't see really what's, what's in it for them. And that's perfect for me, because then I just get more of this high caliber guest who is here to inspire you and is really believes in you too. So that's my little in a nutshell about uh, creating Savvy Chicks and Savvy Chicks TV. And um, yeah, so from now, I'd like to just, actually one more quick thing before the break. We are very, very excited that the Savvy Chicks show will be at Honolulu Fashion Week. We'll be behind the scenes with the media passes and uh, getting you all access to 
the Honolulu Fashion Week in November. I'm very excited for that, so I hope you will all um, be able to check that out once we do the filming. And right back with you in a second, we're going to come back and do a walk down memory lane of some of the coolest guests that we've had here on the Savvy Chick Show, and look forward to seeing you back shortly. Hi, I'm Donna Blanchard. I host the show Center Stage on Think Tech Wednesdays at 2 p.m. and this is Crystal Quack. That's Quark. right. I'm Crystal and I host Quack Talk on Tuesday mornings. <laughs> I like watching Donna's show. You do? <laughs> I like watching your show. I like watching your show because you talk about you're not afraid to really dive into issues that are important and, and sometimes they're a little shocking and you always bring us information that is sometimes the underbelly that we Ooh, need to know and we need to you. see. It's important. Well said. Well, I like yours because you can find any topic and any type of character, but you will find that source which brought them to the product of that creative process. And I thought that's like the most important thing is the process. Awesome. Right? I think, yeah, I do. I think it's all about the process. And I think we'll find world peace when we know each other's stories. So thank you very much for bringing that to us. Join thank us you. on Think Tech. <laughs> think Tech Hawaii, anytime. <laughs> You're watching Think Tech Hawaii, meeting people we may have not otherwise met, helping us understand and appreciate the good things about Hawaii. Great content for Hawaii from ThinkTech. Aloha! Welcome back to the Savvy Chick Show on Think Tech Hawaii. I'm your host, Chantel Seville. Now we're ready for the second segment. The first one was all about what's coming up. And one really important thing I'd love to share with you is we've done a few episodes of Mission Savvy Chicks. Mission Savvy Chicks is something that I'm really personally passionate about, as well as this whole show in Savvy Chicks. And what it is, is it's helping young women achieve their dreams. So we've had one girl who's a sailor uh, from Sydney, Australia. And as well as we've had two local girls here. One in, does fashion design, so she does actual design. She's a designer. And the other one does beautiful earrings. So one of these three uh, I have a very exciting opportunity for. And I will share it on a later episode of the Savvy Chicks TV because it's not yet confirmed. We have a brand that's interested in um, getting involved with one of these Mission Savvy Chicks to really help their dream come true. So stay tuned. And please do let us know if you have anyone in mind who is really pursuing something they love and they're young, someone between the ages of you know, 8 and 17 years old, so they've got to be a young entrepreneur but doesn't necessarily need to be an entrepreneur. They can be an artist or an athlete or just doing something that they're really dedicated to. Um, if that's you, please, please get in touch. Now, um, I would like to start walking down memory lane and what better to do is to start with a mermaid party. <laughs> now, does everyone remember this mermaid party? It is so fun. So Cariel is actually a professional mermaid. She's the one in the middle there, gorgeous girl, with the mermaid party, and we had an absolute blast. Now, if you don't think your dreams are possible, this woman is making a career out of being a real-life mermaid. Um, just saying. <laughs> Some of the other great guests we've had have been, um, we've had Sarah Wigglehooth, who's actually a finance expert. She's young, she's innovative, and she's really helped a lot of young people, Gen Ys and Millennials, get through and um, give them strategies to really build your dream life and dream job and what that takes. And, you know, finance can be very challenging and confusing. And it's not really something you learn in school, but it's something that once you learn just, you know, the simple principles that Sarah taught us, you can actually really change your life. And you can start now. That's her advice. <laughs> start, you know, start right away. And I mean, some of the things that Sarah has taught me personally is just, you know, basically um, never, you know, never be too overwhelmed. Just take the simple strategies and just, you know, be really realistic about what you do and think, what, is this value for money? Because even if you have a lot of money, it doesn't necessarily mean you mean to blow it. And she gave some good examples that actually really hit home and always think, you know, even if you're out for buying a lunch, I'll remember this example from the show, she said, do you really need to buy all those things or are you just buying them out of impulse, impulsiveness? Because realistically, whether it's shopping or whatever it is, that money could go to something else and it's your choice what that money goes to. If, if you want to go on a ski trip but yet you're buying expensive lunches every day, well, that's going to be a trade-off. So I found that really interesting and um, look forward to doing some more, some more with Sarah. But um, yeah, so she was another great guest. We, we've had some positive body image. We've had um, 
Tiff, she's just awesome. She's from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. She was a semi-pro athlete in, in soccer and you know, her brothers play NHL hockey, the incredible family. Her mom was a professional figure skater all around Canada and you know, it's all what she's taught us is you know, as much as they were naturally good at sport, what sport does give is something for you to really, you know, really be healthy and really have a sense of community. And with healthy body image, she found that by focusing on herself and really, um, you know, empowering her own body, that helped her to not worry about what other people thought about her body. And I mean, in today's society, I'm all about healthy, fit and confident. And it's not about being the skinniest or it's not about, you know, whatever it is that's making you compete against others. Competition is good on the field, but after that, it's really about competing with yourself and just being the best version of you. Then we had gorgeous Marlena from Sydney, Australia. I met her at the Askham Girls School when I spoke there about um, seven steps to a healthier you for girls. And she is just an absolute legend of a young woman. She's, you know, set to go to the Olympics. She's absolutely passionate that she's going to get there. And she's had the New South Wales give her a sponsorship. So she has a nutritionist and different um, coaching and whatnot to help her. She wakes up at four or five every morning to get out on the water and just do what it is she's passionate about. And what was interesting about her is she said she didn't always know what she was passionate about. And people used to actually call her, you know, or think of her as a bit lazy until she found what it was that really drove her and made her just want to be so motivated. And the other thing is, is found someone that believed in her. And I think that it's so important, you know, to believe in yourself, but there's nothing more special than when someone believes in you more than you do. And I mean, that's who I want to be for you. So, um, and especially for all these young mission savvy chicks. So it's great to have Marlena on the show. Uh, we had Irina from Bondi Beach Bums. She's, uh, she's, she's great value. She, she built her brand at Bondi Beach Bums and she does all the exercise there at Bondi Beach. And she was talking all about how, you know, you can stay healthy and incorporate exercise into every day because I really believe that um, being healthy, fit and confident is the key to living your dreams. You know, the more empowered you are within yourself and the more healthy you feel, the more alert you feel, the better sleep you get. These are all really important things to keep you driven and motivated. I mean, again, it's not back to having the best body. It's about, you know, really treating your body like a temple. And I know that might sound whatever it is to you, but at the end of the day, if you treat your body like a temple, um, and I mean, it's not being perfect, just as a general rule, not filling it with junk, not, you know, missing a lot of sleep and things like that, you will be so surprised at how much you can achieve and how clear your mind is and how focused you can be on your dreams. This is one of my favorite episodes. Oh my gosh, Maya Aro, she is so cool. A professional stunt woman. She actually studied fashion until she was BMX riding with some of her friends and they suggested that she be a stunt person because she was so good on the stunt bikes. And now her and her husband, they, um, they, they live in this amazing house. They have trampolines in it. They practice their stunts. She does stunts on horses. She's being the stunt coordinator for one of the, uh, you know, a big production that's, it's an American production, but in Canada, you'll have to go back and watch this, this episode. And she does the stunt coordinating. So she's the one who says what car T-bones the other car. And it's just, what a cool career and what an amazing, amazing woman. And I don't know if any of you guys watch the Vikings, but I mean, she's even had the main character from the Vikings over at a house, which is pretty cool. I mean, not only does she have a cool career, but she's really surrounded by some really interesting and neat characters. So definitely get back there and watch watch that episode if you can. Um, then we had Play, uh, our friend from Play Pretend, Lisa, she's so fun. She's an actress and she has gone out and created something that she loves, a project, so that she can inspire more uh, young girls to just imagine their potential and to really get out there and live their dreams and doing that through, uh, through acting. And for me, acting was such an important part of you know, one of those base skills that I have that I now use as an adult, you know, you learn about uh, how to deal with di different situations and how to not take things personally and how to have fun and how to just really just get out there and explore all characters that you have within you. And it's just, I mean, I love acting. So even if you're not interested in acting and perhaps if you're shy, acting is such a great thing to do to really bring out, you know, the strength of your character. So um, that was lots of fun having her on. Then we had the inspired career coach, Kylie Butler. Now she is really about matching. She's seen a lot of careers and has been exposed to them as I have. And she talked all about what it really takes to, um, you know, to pursue your career and how to find what your talents are and how to really be true to yourself when you're pursuing what you want to pursue. And I mean, that's one of my biggest messages is that 
you've really got to be true to yourself because people are going to try and tell you this, that, and the other thing. And unless you have a really good connection with who you are and what you want to do, it's, um, it gets quite confusing. And again, for you young ladies watching this, don't worry because if you don't know what you want to do, that's fine. Just do the things you enjoy doing and probably that is what you'll find a career and eventually if you believe in yourself and believe you can actually live a life of doing that. So um, those are some really, really exciting episodes that we've had. I mean, we've had plenty more. We've had Latoya Asha who has found out a way to uh, combine her love of horses with her love of fashion. And I mean, that is so cool. She is one of my actual very best friends and she's just so full of life and so much fun. And uh, yeah, she started riding horses, loved it when she was young, realized she likes fashion, and now she has her own blog, Horseshoes and High Heels. She's known as the Equestrian Fashion Blogger. She's about to bring out a range of signature pieces um, related to horses and fashion, and uh, she's a great one to keep your eye on because uh, she'll, she'll be getting bigger and bigger and more known every day. Just a girl from, you know, Australian girl and uh, out there living her dream. So she's really someone that has big an imagination and believes anything's possible and you know she's for the dreamers out there and probably most of you watching the show are watching because you are a dreamer and you just want proof it's possible and and I mean at the end of the day that's why I've created it because I've been able to model people who are successful and that's how I continue to create my dreams and my lifestyle because I go oh how did they do that and then I sort of model them and I think that that's really important whether it been in my fitness and being a fitness model I, I mean I sort of uh, modeled uh, someone I was very inspired by, Lindy Olson, and knew that there was a healthy way of being a fitness model and getting up there on stage and competing. And, you know, I was blessed enough to have her coach me from a distance to, to, to achieving that, which, I mean, I, I just am very humbled that I was able to achieve that. So um, I modeled her doing that. And when it came to getting jobs or making this, you know, the show in itself, then I had the gorgeous Nenea, who's um, building her brand as we speak. She's 14, a local Hawaiian girl you know, really out there doing what she loves, which is creating jewelry, and we want to get behind her. So if you are involved in jewelry, or if, if there's any way you can also think to help her, that, that is what she wants to do. She would love, absolutely love, to just make jewelry all day long. She's talented at it, and I just don't see why she can't make that happen if she has the right people around her and backing her. And I mean, 14 years old, look at that. We had Lily from Click Communications with us helping think of best the best ways that you can actually uh, get out there in social media and so she could really promote herself. So definitely you'll have to keep your eye on Nanea there because uh, she's another up and coming and you will, you will be seeing her, I can guarantee you, lo lovely local Hawaiian girl here. Um, yeah, so those are a few of the cool episodes we've had. Um, this is yeah, Kalea. She uh, she was also one of the Mission Savvy Chicks girls. She loves to design, and she wants to put her designs on all different types of clothes. So um, that's one of the designs she just sketched. Ever since she was young, she sketched. She's a beach girl. Her brothers surf, so she you know is around around the surf a lot. And her parents, and um, she's just out there doing her designs. And she'd love to see them on more clothing and bags and whatnot. So. We hope to have her stocked in some local shops soon and on some websites. So if you have a local shop or website and would like to stock the gorgeous Savvy Chicks product, we'd, uh, we'd be most happy to, to connect that and uh, to get these girls living their dreams. So if you can help me help the girls, I mean, what more do you want in society? Like my vision would be to have people who have these talents and pursuing their talents and not having to go and do you know, for instance, like if a young girl wants to do jewelry, not that can be her job and to make that her job and to make her so focused and so confident from that talent that she has within to just want to keep doing it. I mean, if you're watching this, and I, I, I don't mean to say it, but I bumped into her mom not long after the show and she said, you wouldn't believe how inspired the girls were after the show. She said, Nanaya went home and made her best pair of earrings yet just after the show, just because it gave her that extra confidence within herself to really go for it. And I mean, to me, that's that's really what I hope to achieve in society is to, to get these young girls to just focus on what it is that's true to them and believe that it's possible. So um, I'd love to showcase those earrings soon as well. I'll have to find them. Then we had Lisa Main. Lisa is a, a, a beautiful soul from Melbourne, Australia, and she was talking about um, like, you know, Savvy Chick School and the things that they don't teach you in school. And from someone with a very diverse background, and she's now a yoga teacher, she does a lot of teaching of yoga of girls in schools, she's most passionate about helping teach more girls out there these life skills that you need to know about how to buy a house and buy a car and what interest is and just really those, 
those uh, day-to-day -day things, how to travel and what it's like to get a passport or what it's like to get travel insurance. Because, I mean, when I was 18, I hopped on a plane and went to Australia from Saskatchewan, Canada. So I think they're great opportunities when you get to travel the world, and most people love traveling. So if you can learn more and um, be more confident in traveling, I think that that's great. So it was really nice to have Lisa on the show. Uh, Again, and you know, it's one of those things like I love traveling and I just, you get exposed to so many different types of things when you're traveling. This was uh, an episode when I went back to Australia. I was actually in the Gold Coast of Australia with uh, Trina Brobert, who is an absolute gun entrepreneur and businesswoman. Um, and then we had her with Susan Jacob there. She makes incredible jewelry and they were just talking about what it's like to be women and have the balance of the family life and and you know having a husband and children and being able to balance that and how you can and but still continue to follow your passion so that was a really neat episode and it'd be well worth you know having a little sneak peek back at so um all it's about is really inspire dream believe you know whatever it is in your heart that you want to pursue you've got to go out there and really do that and I can't wait to share the rest of these upcoming episodes with you of these cool, cool careers. I mean, after that, there will be some other exciting episodes following. But for the next six weeks, please stay tuned. 11 a.m. Honolulu time on Wednesdays, we'll be having the Savvy Chick Show with the coolest careers that you're going to find. And I'm going to get the insights exactly for you. And you can like call and tweet and ask my guests questions. Do it. <laughs> I mean, the opportunity for you to ask these people questions is... Mm, not easy. It's not easy unless you're, you know, very passionate about it or if it's your nat natural skill to get a hold of just anyone. And I've got a hold of them for you on behalf of you. So please, if you have questions during those shows, make sure call in. So you call in the Think Tech Hawaii hotline and you can ask and I'll ask the guests for you or even tweet in um, the Think Tech Hawaii. So that's, that's something really important, cool to know. As I said, if you're a mission savvy chick or you have something you're working on and you want us to know about, please follow us on all of the social media channels daily for the next uh, little while here i'll be resharing all the old episodes so if you watch one and enjoy it please reshare it because if you're inspired by it chances are someone else will be too and these episodes are created for you so um be sure to share them on and the honolulu fashion week as i said that's november very exciting and uh, you'll have to wait and see a bit about that. But for now, I think that's, uh, that's a wrap for the Savvy Chick Show. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you've enjoyed this episode, especially it's nice to just get little snippets to see if you're interested, um, then please do watch the rest of the episodes. And if you don't have time to watch, you can always listen. Just put in the earphones, hit the YouTube button, and, uh, and enjoy. So aloha, thanks for tuning in, and we shall see you next week. Bye-bye.